Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see the Microsoft Power Toys settings. The Microsoft Power Toys settings is having a multiple features. So that are all the hidden features. So it will be really helpful for uh, find out the hidden features and customizing the multitasking like that. So in the Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 22463, Microsoft has announced that uh, Power Toys is now available in the Microsoft Store in Windows 11. So in case if you are a Windows 11 user means you can uh, download the microsoft power toys in the microsoft store so just go to the microsoft store and search for power toys now here is the application power toys so it is a great uh, set of utilities features so you can easily install this prior from this and even if you are non uh, windows 11 operating system also you can uh, download the power toys by just going to the uh, from the github so i have given the link in the description once you go to this link so it, it is from the official microsoft site so once go to this uh, page here is the option releases just click on that and here is a power toys setup just click to download and install the file and that's it so i have already installed that so this is a power toys settings so once you open so like this only you will get the ui so first of all it is a general option here you can able to enable uh, downloading automatic updates and managing a windows app theme like that so now here is the nine different features of this power toy settings so the first is the awake so once you have actually enabled this the screen will be always awake so it will be even if your power and sleep settings is also enabled also that time also the screen will be awake so that is also different set of uh, modes for the behavior of awake like inactive keep awake indefinitely and keep awake temporarily so here you can uh, able to set uh, hours and minutes like that and you can uh, set the screen is where the screen will be on or off like that option is also available so once you have uh, managed these means even the screen is off also that so that time also the system will be always awake it will never goes to the sleeping mode and the next feature is a color picker so this feature will be greatly helpful in case if you are a uh, editing user like that means if you are using adobe photoshop like that means so that time you want to use a particular color as a background means you can use this color picker so it will be greatly helpful so that is also a shortcut to enable the color picker so shift plus that so uh, you can also customize this shortcut also by just clicking this pen icon so i am currently set at the shift plus that you can also set as per your wish so just press any of the so you have to the shortcut should be start with the windows key control alt or a shift key like that so i am just press alt plus q and click on the save now whenever i am pressing the alt plus q so the color picker will actually enabled so whenever i am uh, hovering in any of the area so the color picker will actually catch up the color so after clicking so here is the color picker editor mode will displays so here you can able to find all the different codes for the each format like hex rgb hsl hsv like that so you can instantly copy the code uh, and you can paste in your uh, editing software so and you can uh, easily edit your uh, image instantly so this feature will be greatly helpful for uh, editing users now the next feature is a fancy zone so this feature is uh, specifically for a multitask so you can uh, customize your uh, programs layout in the multi-screening so you can uh, find the layout editor here so just click on the launch layout editor so here is a different templates of editing so you can uh, these are these are all the pre-made templates you can select this also and after that you can also create a custom layout just create a you can click on the create new layout and canvas and create two more option is available so once you click the create and create means so here you can able to manage the you can create your own layout as per your wish so whether each program so you can select so for each program so what is the pixel resolution it needs like that so so for example if you are moving a calculator in one section means for calculator you can uh, minimize some uh, pixel resolution for calculator and for a higher pixel resolution you can put other programs like that so like that you can able to customize your layout and after that click on the save and apply now to activate the fancy zones so just drag the program and after the once you're dragging just press and hold the shift key now you will find the uh, different layouts so just to play i'm just placing the second layout 
now the power type settings has been uh, located in the second layout as like you can also i am just opening the calculator application so just drag this calculator and hold the shift and uh, place in the third section so now the calculator application has been adopted into the third layout so like that you can uh, able to create the different layouts so this will be greatly helpful for a uh, multitasker so this fancy zone will be really helpful and also there is a multiple uh, uh, different settings option so this will be helpful so in for a uh, multitasker for different scenario now the next feature is the file explorer add-on so this will be a most common feature in most of the windows operating system so once you have actually enabled all these things in the file explorer so you can able to preview that particular image or uh, any pdf files like that so to make the preview so go to the view section and uh, go to the show and here is the option preview panel just enable this option so after enabling just just clicking on the any of the file you will get the preview of that file in the right side so this option is already available in the most of the windows operating system itself so you can need means you can enable that now the next feature is the image resizer so it is one of the most favorite feature in the windows loan operating system in the power type settings so once you have enabled this uh, image resizer so you can also uh, there is a preview made uh, image resize so you can also create your own size i have already created a new size called 350 to 350 pixel resolution so like that you can create your own size so you can also click the edit and you can select your width as per your wish and now to uh, so it will be greatly helpful to resize any image for example now i am a uh, having a pixel resolution of this image so i can easily um, uh, change the resolution of this image and click on the resize and also there is a some more settings option resize the original pictures so don't create copies like that once you have tap on this the uh, original image will be actually replaced so that's the thing and like that uh, some more option will be available you can consider that options too so once you click the resize so the image will be resized so here is a new size one image now i am just opening this picture so as you seen the pixel resolution has been changed so the original picture is the original pixel resolution is like this and the modified image size the pixel resolution will be like this so like this you can instantly change a pixel resolution in the windows 11 operating system itself you no need to go to the any third party site or a third party software to make the uh, to change the resolution of a pictures so it will be greatly helpful so in some of the important websites like government websites like that so there will be a limitation like you have to upload a uh, file should be under 100 kb or 500 kb like like that so that time you can easily uh, able to resize any of the image as per the pixel resolution and you can reduce the file size so this file size is actually 18 kb and this file is actually 91 kb so you can uh, instantly reduce the file size of the any of the picture easily so this image resizer will be greatly helpful for you in the uh, windows power toy settings now the next feature is a keyboard manager so it is also one of the great feature so using this keyboard manager so once you actually enable this keyboard manager so using this keyboard manager you can remap the key or you can remap the shortcuts for example so there is a shortcut called control plus c so the control plus c shortcut is having a function like it will actually copy any of the file so for example to remap a shortcut if you don't want the control plus c shortcut to be the copy function means you can remap that shortcut so to do that just click on the remap a shortcut and after that click on this plus icon and here you can just click on the type now so what is your preferred keyboard shortcut firstly press that so in the shortcut you have to press your preferred keyboard shortcut so for example so instead of using the control plus c i want to use the alt plus c so i am pressing the alt plus c and click on the ok so for this alt plus c so which keyboard shortcut you need to be mapped so here you want to click uh, that uh, keyboard shortcut for alt plus c i want to do the control plus c copy function so i am pressing the control plus c and click on the ok and here click on the ok so now we have actually remapped the shortcut for control plus c so once you have press the alt plus c the control plus c function will be activated so just go to the file manager I am copying this um, this image. Now I am pressing the Alt plus C and pressing the V. 
so i have copied and pasted the this particular file so like this you can remap your keyboard shortcut as per your preferred keyboard shortcut wish and also you can remap a key also i am actually uh, for v key i am mapped to control plus v and for b key i am mapped to control plus p for example so i don't need to press the control plus v to paste any of the file and so i can just press only v itself by just pressing only v the keyboard shortcut called control plus v will be activated so like that you can customize the keyboard shortcuts as per your wish now the next feature is a power rename so it is also one of the great feature once you have actually enabled this power rename feature so you can rename the bulk files for example so you can hide you can select like multiple files and right click and uh, click on the show more option so here is the power rename so you can uh, rename multiple files so just uh, type the original name in the search bar so once you have actually type on the keyboard in the search bar so you can uh, replace with other words like uh, as per your wish so i am just uh, replaced with the tech and tech and just click on the rename now all the three files has been renamed instantly so the power rename feature will be really works for you for renaming the multiple files instantly now the next feature is a power toys run so it is also one of the great feature in the power toy settings so once you have actually enabled so to uh, open the power toy so to open the run option here is a keyboard shortcut so i have just given the alt plus space you can also customize this keyboard shortcut as per your wish so the alt plus space is the easily accessible keyboard keys so that's why i am placed that you can in case if you want other keyboard shortcut also you can uh, use that for example control plus space like that so i am using the alt plus space just click on the save so whenever i am pressing the alt plus space so here is the run option will be shown so it is like a smart search bar so you can search the web right from here so just entering this means you can search the web it it, it goes to the google chrome browser like, like that you can search for the files here so all the different files and uh, other saved projects like that will be shown and also you can open the particular application so you can open application and you can also uninstall the application so it will be works in uh, all the criteria in the opened application or in the desktop mode also you can open so in it will be a smart search bar you can instantly open any of the application or you can search a web like that so it is one of the great utility feature in the power toys settings so these are all the some of the features and here is a shortcut guide so to in case if you are forgotten the shortcut key for any of the function means you can uh, get the shortcut guide so once you have actually press the alt plus q i can get the shortcut guide so so these are so these are all the list of shortcut guide in the windows 11 operating system so in case if you have actually forgotten means you can just press the alt plus q to get the uh, what all the list of shortcut will be available so it will be helpful for you activation shortcut keys alt plus q you can customize this also as per your wish like uh, control plus q like that just click on the save so once you actually press the control plus q the shortcut guide will be opened and after that so you have to use the windows key for uh, using all these shortcuts for example windows plus a will open the action center so these are all the some of the great utility features in the microsoft power toys you can easily download this uh, microsoft power toys uh, in your uh, windows 10 operating system also and in the windows 11 operating system it will be available in the microsoft store itself so now that's all about this video guys and now what your favorite feature in the microsoft the power toy settings let me know in the comment section below and that's all about this video guys and if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and if you guys like this video hit the like button and thanks for watching this video guys